You've probably heard me talk about the Romanian deadlift or seen me do it on Instagram. Uh, the Romanian deadlift or the RDL, which it could just be called the reverse deadlift, but lifters have to make everything European or fucking Yugoslavian or whatever. In this video, we're going to do some details on the Romanian deadlift as well as how it applies to combat sport or self-defense training and also talk about what I mean when I say respect the weight. I'm Mike and this is Hard to Hurt channel dedicated to fitness and self-defense where we bring those two concepts together to make you hard to hurt. We need to keep our back really straight. That's the most important detail. Back straight. I want you to think, don't think in terms of down and up. I want you to take your hips and think hips back. That's what I want you to think about. We're going to lift our chest up and push our hips back, then push our hips forward. The chest up is what's going to help keep our back straight. Actually, that's not right. I feel like I need to make a distinction. I was saying keep your back straight. That's not really right. You need to keep your spine straight. Your spine includes your neck. It's your cervical spine. What a lot of people do in order to try to keep their chest up and their back straight, they pick their head up like this. Like a fucking Pez dispenser. I should be able to pick my chest up without having to do this. See the difference there? I'm gonna treat my neck like it's in a neck brace. If you think about your chest upright, that's gonna cause you to brace your core and straighten out your spine. We need to keep our spine straight throughout the lift. And I do that by poking my chest out and proud. Like imagine this is your spine and this is your chest and stomach, or you know, for some of us, it's like a little more like that. But we're gonna pretend that we all look like this. And when you hinge over, what happens is your spine wants to do this, right? So we're trying to pick our head up to make our spine straight, or we're trying to use our, all our back muscles to make our spine straight. We want to use this stuff too. So as we hinge over and this wants to happen, we, use our, we lift our chest by bracing our core to support our spine. And that takes a lot of load off the back, and we can use our whole body and move a lot more weight. What you can support in your hands should be the limiting factor, which makes this great for self-defense training because grip strength is super important. And if you haven't already, you can check out our video on grip strength. Another important detail, I gotta squeeze my butt cheeks. And I mean squeeze my butt cheeks at the top. I want you to squeeze your butt cheeks like you're trying to keep something out of there. Or, I don't know, like you're trying to keep something in there. Let's talk about weight selection. Now, I might be biased. I really think you should hire a trainer to select the weight for you, uh, but the last couple reps basically should be when your grip's just starting to give out. People might disagree with me on this. I don't think you should feel anything acutely in your lower back during the lift. I think that uh, is beyond the scope or purpose of this lift. Afterwards, I feel a little bit of fatigue, maybe. I don't believe in feeling acute uh, stress or pain or discomfort in my lower back during any lift, really. So what I mean when I say respect the weights, I'm not saying that you can't be like, Fuck you, weights. You can do all that stuff if you want to. I'm saying respect what they can do to you. And that goes for the dumbbells, kettlebells, plates, whatever. We're not just going to go, eh, whatever, and be all loose when we pick it up. Anytime you touch any weight, even if it's something that you know is light, we're going to treat it like we have no idea how much it weighs. We're going to pick our chest up. We're going to brace our core, keep our spine straight, and we're going to lift these things with respect. And when we're moving them around, picking them up, putting them down, walking to and fro, we're not going to let them swing all crazy. We're going to be engaged and we're going to be flexed. If you're holding weights, you're lifting. We're using our glutes and our hamstrings to move the weight and we're using our core to keep the weight from moving us. These are exactly the types of muscles you use while fighting for a takedown or clinching with someone. Common mistake at the top is shrugging. Don't shrug at the top. At the bottom, the weight should be directly over your midfoot. That's the middle of your whole foot, not the middle of the part of the foot that you can see.
Fauci. So that's our video on the Romanian deadlift as well as the concept of respecting the weights. Those are those air quotes that people love so much. This is my favorite exercise. I really like, especially the grip strength component. That's super important in self-defense. Also, it's helped me kind of uh, get over some spinal injuries, strengthening my core a little bit at a time. And uh, it gives you some really juicy uh, calluses. I like to chew on mine. And in the comments below, let's talk, uh, you know my favorite exercise right now. What is your favorite exercise right now? I want to hear about it, especially if you think it translates into combat sports, self-defense, or general hard-to-heartedness.